Yo, what's good, everybody, and welcome back to another Tinder Tasty Tea Days. If you guys already know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, then let's skip the intro, but we can't do that because there's new people here, my friend. If you're new here, hello, I'm Smojo, and uh, welcome to the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, I just hit my, if, if, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to, you know, leave that shabarino button if you enjoyed, my friends, and let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, uh, yeah, get started. Tinder Tasty Tea Days is when every Tuesdays and Thursdays, the family comes together and we get lit. We rate Wizard 101 stitches sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. If you want to submit your own stitch for the series of Tinder Tasty Tea Days, all you gotta do is go to Twitter, make yourself a post, at me in a post at Smojo SF. Make sure you use the media little tabby tab for your stitch in it, include the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Without further ado, my friends and family and folk, let's go ahead and get started. For this episode of TTT, we got a stitch sent in by Hannah Lyle song thank you for submitting hannah live song she says or they they say here's my stitch at smojo sf period hashtag tender tasty tea days now first off right back hannah i like your post good job you added me in a post and used the hashtag correctly so 10 out of 10 for that but now let's get down to business Let's get serious about rating thy stitch. You guys already know how we rate stitches here, all right? We rate them in three different ways. One, does it look good in general? Do the colors match? Does everything correlate with one another? Two, does it make sense? Does the gear that you're using actually work with one another? The materials of the gear that's being used, does it actually look like it's supposed to go together? And number three, is it unique? You know, have we seen these pieces of gear just everywhere in Wizard 101? Or are these some pretty unique pieces of gear that we barely see? After that, we're going to add up all the score together and we're going to get the final score. And that's how you will rate yourself, I guess. Oh, well, yeah. First off, right off the back, the eyes, my friend, the eyes. Does it look good? Now, there's some things about your stitch that I do like, and there's some things about your stitch that I don't like. And I'm pretty sure the things that I don't like are going to be pretty obvious, mainly because of the fact that uh, the majority of your stitch, it, it, it screams life wizard to me, but your wand doesn't you know what i mean like i i you know your stitch isn't bad it's not a bad stitch let's just start from there it's not a bad stitch it's actually a pretty good stitch but there's some things that i don't like one of the main things that i don't like is the fact that your wand is meant for ice wizards but your robe boots hair the little the little tattoo on your cheeks everything about your actual wizard gives me life it gives me a life wizard. You got the little leaf on your cheek. You know, your robe is green and white. Your boots are like green and white. And it looks like your hair is either, it's either blonde or, I don't know, it's, it's either blonde or something. But I, either way, it makes sense. And then you look at your wand, you look at your sword, and I'm looking at some blue thing that's crystallized that, that is spewing out snowflakes. You know what I mean? That doesn't, that doesn't make sense in, in, in my, in my heart. That does not make sense. Now, with that being said, your wand matches with your background. I'm not, I'm not, we're not going to go over the background. I like the fact that you actually use the background in your picture like this. So I'm going to congratulate you on that as well. However, it makes my brain confused because I look at your pet and I look at your robe and your boots and your, your hair and it gives me life wizard. Then I look at your wand and then I look at the background and it's giving me ice wizard. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if you did that on purpose. If you did, I understand where you're coming from. I see what you're trying to do, but does it work? You know, that's that's the question. Like We understand what you're trying to do, but does what you're trying to do actually work and honestly quite frankly i'm gonna give it a no you know what i mean like if i'm gonna be a life wizard and and i have this whole life ish type of stitch i wouldn't do it in this way i, I like you could make this work honestly you really could make this work however you have to get in my opinion a pair of boots and a robe that have some type of ice knee-ness in it some ice stuff in it you know what i mean or like some 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 blue or something there's some way that it connects your sword it connects your background and it brings it all together within your robe and your boots some way you know what i mean from the image that you sent, it just looks like your robe and your boots pop out way too much 
from the sword in the background to where it's not meshing you know what i mean so but if you're if you're if your robe in your boots had some type of iciness with it and you combine that with the ice sword but you still have your like your life thing going on on the side i think that would be fine i think that would be fine you can maybe do that with the i i i, I don't like elegant gear but try to find some ice insignia gear you know diet the, the live colors that way you still have your little snowflake in there you know it matches with the sword and then you still have like your life is going on with the, the dyed colors or whatnot i'm not sure how it's gonna look but that's just something that i would do and i know that was a lot so i'm gonna give you your rating does it actually look good i'm gonna give it a solid six out of ten because i mean it's not a bad stitch like i don't i don't think the the, the gear that you chose the attire that you chose the colors that you chose you know it's not bad you know what i mean you included the pet you included a background it's just the fact that it, it the sword doesn't match with the rest of your fit and the background kind of ties in the source, but I feel like it doesn't help all too much. I'm going to give you a solid 6 out of 10 on that one. Now, for the next rating, does it make sense? Does, does your stitch actually make sense? Now, yes and no, I think. Yeah. Okay, so uh, your robe and your boots 100% make sense. Like those, those two pieces of attire definitely 100% make sense to go with each other. It, they complement each other. They're about the same type of cloth or material or whatever. The only thing that I say that doesn't make sense to me is the sword. Because usually when I'm thinking of somebody using a sword, I'm thinking of like a knight or like a knight in shining armor. You know what I mean? Somebody using some gear that has some metal in it. You're using some cloth. So it makes me feel like you should use a wand or like a staff or something like that. Um, I feel like those type of weapon types would work better with your robe and your boots. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like you could definitely get away with it using a sword with that robe and the boots. But I think there are better options out there. You know what I mean? That would work a lot better than the sword um but at the same time it doesn't absolutely just not make sense you know what i mean i would definitely say your hair your 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 robe the boots you know the pet you know all of that looks great you know what i mean i love it it's just the sword for me that's the main part of your stitch that is is throwing me off that's throwing me away it's the sword that's that's the main part with that being said does it actually make sense i think fairly enough it actually does so i'm gonna give you a solid i'm gonna give you a solid eight out of ten you know i was gonna give you a seven out of ten but i love the fact that you put in a pet i love that i love i love i love that you found a pet that matches your stitch so i'm gonna give you a solid eight out of ten on that one now the hardest one of all is it actually unique is your stitch unique does it you know do we see this gear somewhere else in wizard city and to be honest with you i'm gonna say yes you know what i mean no no no, no. i'm gonna say no yes and no do we see this gear somewhere else in wizard city yes is your stitch unique no that's 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 basically what you know um i i say that mainly because i see that robe a lot you know what i mean um it's it's not a robe that's used like super duper crazy but it's not a robe that isn't used at all at the same time it's a little bit in the middle so i can't be really harsh on that one um now when it comes with the sword the sword is a really good sword it's a really good sword for ice wizards i feel because of the way that it's it's pretty much meant for ice um and it, it looks really really nice it's known for being a sword that is underused though you know what i mean it, when you think of an ice wizard stitch i usually don't imagine somebody using this sword but when i do see somebody using it i like it because i feel like not a lot of people actually use that sword so i'm gonna give you some points on using the sword for uniqueness I don't think you use it in the right sense for the colors or the scheme, but for uniqueness, I'm going to give you points on that one. Um, for the robe, I just feel like the robe isn't unique. It's somewhere in the middle. And those boots, those boots, I feel like those boots are not unique, my girl. I, 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 I feel like there are better options and uniqueness than those boots. You know what I mean? I do feel like the boots work with the stitch and they're pretty solid. But if you're going for unique points, I don't think that those boots are unique enough to give you a lot of unique points. And with the hair, hair is just hair. It would have been a lot better if you used an actual hat or an actual something that was like not just purely hair. A lot of people use that hair. A lot of people use hair in general when you think about it. But, um, you know, uh, you know, I think the most unique part about your stitch would probably be the sword and then everything else is kind of in the middle or it's just not unique at all. So for the uniqueness points, I'm gonna give you like a solid four out of 10. Overall, if I'm being completely honest with you, this is the type of stitch that I personally wouldn't compliment if I run across it, but it's not a bad stitch on top of that. I've seen a lot worse stitches. I do think it can improve. If you're trying to go with the green look, I would just ditch the sword overall and get me a nice life wand and 
your stitch would pretty much be perfect not on a unique side but just in looks in general with the the, the the way that the colors work together and everything like that if you just had a wand that complemented the rest of your stitches colors in my opinion i think your stitch would be a lot better and you would have gotten a lot better rating the sword throws it off to me, but i do want to congratulate you on the uniqueness of the sword i want to congratulate you on actually using a background with your stitch and i want to congratulate you on actually using a pet all of those together very good job I'm gonna have to give you an overall rating of a 6 out of 10. You lost points on the sword and your uniqueness. That's mainly the places, mainly the places, this uniqueness and the sword. I do want to thank you for participating. And, you know, if you want to work on your stitch and send me another one, I'll gladly rate it for you. But yeah, I appreciate it, Hannah. And yeah, 6 out of 10, my friend. 6 out of 10. Oh well, yeah, guys, uh, tell me what you guys think. Um, do you disagree with what I said? Do you agree with what I said? What would you guys rate here in those categories, my friends? Um, if you want to submit your own stitch into Tinder Tasty Tea Days, all you have to do is go over to Twitter. Make sure you follow me at SF. Make a post with your stitch using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days at me in the post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, and we also do like a little voting system in a Discord server. So if you guys want to join a Discord server and vote on some stitches or whatnot, feel free to do so. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a great life. Have a great morning and whatever time it is for you. I hope it's great. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.